Good morning. Thursday the 28th of July. Um, it's about 9.30 in the morning, something like that. So the morning after that amazing sunset um, and what a lovely, beautiful, peaceful night it was last night. The stars and the Milky Way were amazing. Um, yeah, first sort of real proper night of fishing I feel. Sat on bait that's been out there for a little while. Um, what I've noticed is uh, from the last time I fished this time of year on this lake seven years ago is the crayfish are uh, quite a problem. Just wound in one of my rods, my extra rods, and uh, it's uh, missing a boilie and the other one is pretty much whittled away. The bait I've got isn't quite as hard as I'd like it to have been really. So, no margins, just around there, I saw a good fish splash there yesterday, just literally level the trees, it's a lovely silky plateau, it doesn't drop right off, straight down to 39 foot, you can't play your, place your baits on it, but there, it looks sexy as fuck, so excuse my language, so I didn't put a massive amount of bait on it either, a little light scattering of particles, double, double bottom bait, 20 mil bottom bait, one with the old spicy squid goo, which they seem to like here. So there we go. Um, so yeah, I am over the moon. That is it. That is like, that has made up for all the tiny fish, the stagnant river, my outboard breaking down and having to part with over 400 euros. Oh, you know, I've pushed myself beyond the limit. I don't work this hard doing house removals and yet yeah, that one fish has made it. Can't believe it, can't believe it. Brilliant, <laughs> yes. I'm gonna leave it there, I'll keep on going. Thursday the... Uh Now that made me shit the pants. <laughs> oh my god, I should be carrying in the back carrying in the back of my bivy in a minute. Oh my word. So yes, anyway, uh Thursday, July the uh twenty-eighth, uh it's uh, about eight thirty in the uh evening. Got my rods out at about seven o'clock and uh, thank Christ I did. Look at this we actually have rain we've had seen several proper lightning strikes around the lake and now we are getting a deluge of rain get my stuff in um i knew this was coming so uh yeah look at this this is what we've been waiting for. If I haven't already had a result, this should make a difference. If we haven't had a couple of cart by the morning, or by this time tomorrow, I will be very surprised. Got them out there, good as gold. Lovely scout and a bait on all of them. They've gone out absolutely perfect. So uh, I was gonna put a fifth rod out, uh, just to uh, go down a bit deeper than that carp that I caught in about 22 feet of water this morning down my left hand margin going to place another one in about 30 foot and just see if there's not more fish uh, navigating around there that I'm missing probably coming right underneath my rod tips 
There we go, lovely. Can you enjoy the shower? I really need to be getting out there with my shower gel. <laughs> Mega, love it. Good morning. Uh, Friday 29th of July. Um, about 11.30 in the morning. Um, <clears throat> Very, very wet night. We've had rain most of the night, lots of thunderstorms rolling around the uh, mountains here. Um, <clears throat> the wind's sort of uh, very changeable at the minute, very light. A um, few sort of uh, little, little bit of activity on the rods through the night. Uh, nothing I would have said was anything more than probably uh, small fish pulling at the boats. Um, or, cat or crayfish. Um, yeah, it's um, the weather's going to clear a little bit later on this afternoon by about three, four o'clock this afternoon, and it's going to leave a cloudy day, sun and cloud, and then just more sun and cloud tomorrow, and then getting hot by the end of the weekend again. Ah, oh, there I mate. Oh, knackered. So. Saturday the 30th of July, it's a quarter of 10 in the morning. Um, I purposely stayed up really late last night uh, with the help of my old mucker Wayne and his uh, sipography account, watching all sorts of uh, rubbish until uh, literally 3 in the morning. Um, I really wanted to stay up, it looked amazing last night. I really, really thought I was gonna. I thought I had. I thought I had, had the pieces of the puzzle a little bit more close together, and uh, I was so confident that it was just one of those nights where you were just waiting for it to go. I've been waiting for it to go now since that last that lovely common carp. Um, And uh, yeah, um, the the anticipation is starting to wane a little bit now. We might say, <laughs> you know, you get these massive flows of confidence at times. You know, you catch that one beautiful fish, and that's one little bit of, bit of the puzzle put together. And yeah. Um, Yesterday, I, I the wind picked up again. I saw a couple of carp move out in front of me, but they're right in the middle. Um, but they were poor poison, and I always associate that with um, moving fish. They weren't crashing or thrashing about, and I've seen them do it on here before. And I've um, and they they've been moving. They've been poor poison, and always they always been heading that way towards the uh, <laughs> towards the uh, dam, incidentally. And I've tried to put um, bait on them before, and, and, and stuck a couple of rods out there over a period of days. But this this time of year, 42 foot in the river bed, you know, give it a month or so, yeah, maybe, um, yeah. So I haven't bothered. But what I have done is uh, I've, I've, I've pulled them back down the ledge. I've gone up, stayed up in 20 foot with a couple of the rods, but a, f a few of the rods, I've, I've, three of the rods, uh, um, I've put back down into sort of 28 to sort of 32 foot of water, which has been a good depth for me before on here in the summer and in, in early autumn. So, uh, yeah, anyway, I'm babbling along. Obviously, quite obviously, I didn't catch anything last night. I did have an occurrence on the 30 foot rod, the nearly placed 30 foot rod across the other side. Um, big sort of a bit of a drop back, didn't even eject the lead. So it's a little bit of a ledge there and you're on silt and even the eight ounce lead, it doesn't take much for it to get dislodged and slide down a little bit under the weight of all the braid and the, and the hanger. Apparently vinegar, Maybe this isn't quite the right stuff because it's just pickled onion vinegar is meant to keep houseflies out your bivvy. There you go. So I finished off. I said, I said to my girlfriend yesterday, I said, I haven't got any vinegar. And then I had a bit of a, a cold a cold meat and pickle um, 
dinner last night and realised I have. So anyway, set that out and it distracted me for a minute while I was chatting to you guys because it was come down and I'd looked at it. I thought, yeah, great. Yeah, going to push the flies away, but attract the wasps. I think I'll take the flies, please. Um, but yeah, there we go. So I must admit, it seems very absent. There's one fly there. We don't, two flies. Mm, maybe we'll put it by the bivvy a little bit. Yes. Oh, well, we'll see. Watch your space on that one. I'm going. God, I'm going to have to do a lot of editing on this one. Good afternoon. Uh, just gone midday, nearly 48 hours to the hour since that last amazing common. Same rod's gone off again. Repositioned it yesterday, last night, because it wasn't, it wasn't as big as then. I had the bike quite the right spot. I repositioned it slightly shallower, sort of about 20 feet. Just had another run. Uh, so 3:30 on Saturday the 30th. Um, obviously, um, I put that rod back out um, after that at uh, 24 pound of this morning, or the midday today, just after, and it took it took about an hour or so to put it out there. So that rod's only been out there about two hours, and it's gone again. <coughs> Can't quite believe it. I've um, I moved in the other right hand rod, and it's literally within. I don't know, 15 feet of the other one, I'll put a white pop up on it, but it's the yellow that's gone yet again. Just a little light scattering of boilies, maybe 30, 40 boilies, and literally not even half a gallon of, you know, four points, eight points of um, the particle just scattered around it. And uh, yeah, just tied to that tree uh, in the 20 foot mark, and that's gone again. But. Yeah, got it up. Um, I went straight in the boat, went straight out to mid-water because I felt like it was going towards the snags. So uh, I managed to just zoom straight out there about 60 yards and then pulled it away. Saw the fish boil on the top. Brilliant. So I sort of made my way to it and it caught for a minute. It was caught on my right hand rod. Um, but I don't think it was. Um, it's caught on somebody else's line and I could feel a bit of grate in. Anyway, it's just coming up to the top and the hook pulled. So there's a bit of a shame that was. I don't think it was a huge fish, and it is probably another um, mid 20, something like that. But there we go. It would have been a, a second fish for the day. Um, you know, it, 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 I just can't quite believe the other one's not going. But then again, the wind has turned around now. It's a bit more westerly in it, and the wind is packing into this bank. And I'm wondering. There's a little. Um, got this little peninsula where my rods are and it's very very silty clay silt sand and it's creating like a cloud going down there where I'm fishing and I actually had a little swim earlier on and I writ and it was a trick we used to do in a little stream near us and we used to stand up above a hole and fish for trout wild brown trout and, and by mistake we we um, we used to shuffle our feet you know when we was in there and we noticed that the more we shuffled our feet the more that we catch the trout it bring them out from their hiding spots under the trees slightly downstream and it became ridiculously easy um, so uh, I was 
just kicking up the mud. I was sat there having a bit of a swim and a paddle just on the point there and all this mud was going down and I remember that day and we're going back 40 years ago uh, when me and my dad done that and uh, literally I, was, I reckon that's um, gone within about three quarters of an hour of me doing that, an hour of me doing that. Take of it what you like. So uh, yeah, good evening. Um, it's uh, Saturday the 30th of July, it's just to uh, 9 o'clock and it has been a lovely day and uh, always nicer obviously uh, when you've uh, had a couple of takes as well. So I feel like um, putting pieces of the puzzle together a little bit more but to be fair in, in my favour we've had a lovely north easterly wind hitting this shore all day long and colouring it all up down those margins the fish had to be there I'm just hoping it's the same tomorrow I'm going to have to check the weather forecast otherwise it, we might be in the doldrums um, so yeah anyway it's uh, nice that for a change all the rods are out I'm not changing the long range rods tonight not doing anything out there uh, suddenly realised it's the first time that I've not left them for 48 hours the baits are getting a bit crayed but uh, my my hard hookers aren't as hard anymore because I made the mistake of pre-soaking them all mm. in some in some muscle hydroslate and stuff like that. But they'll last 48. Um, so yeah, everything's done. The sun's just going down. It is going to be a mega sunset, and uh, I'm having a proper all-out meal tonight. I bought a lovely bottle along the docker, red wine, uh, a little while ago. One of my favourite regions. Uh, 14 and a half percent I hope I don't get a run tonight uh, we're doing a lovely spicy spaghetti bolognese uh, everything's pretty much just done uh, compromise with the parmesan with a little bit of uh, extra strong cheddar on top um, yeah gonna sit and have a jolly old evening enjoying the sun go down and what is probably guaranteed to be a very spectacular night enjoying the Milky Way above me um, so yeah and what's been a very lucrative day really in all things considered spoke to a couple of German lads they've been here for two weeks two lads two weeks over two weeks and they've had three fish between them up to 15 kilos so I should count myself lucky that I've had three takes two fish and one of just shy of 21 kilos so uh, I think I'm doing all right and the consensus is from what you've seen that everybody's struggling but I think that's just it in France it, it, it's not going to be on the plate this time of year the weather determines that so uh, yeah there we go so Saturday night lots of parties going on lots of music thumping around uh, everybody having fun and enjoying the sun and, and what's a, a beautiful amazing summer's evening I feel like I haven't really experienced it yet um, but I'm starting to finally after what 26 days 26 nights fall into it a bit I've been fishing a bit too hard to really take it in which is a real shame so I've got a fortnight left I'm gonna do my damnedest to make sure that I really take in the French summer life for the next fortnight because it's been a long time coming speech over I'm gonna enjoy my dinner before it gets cold and hopefully uh, get back to you um, hopefully maybe sooner rather than later with a, another big pretty scaly carp from the south of France so there you go dinner for tomorrow night as well look at that oh my god this this eat it's so hard to uh, look after yourself Oh, I've got to go. Boat. Some me on here. A coip you. Ah. They get everywhere. There we go. Dinner's done. Half a pot of red wine done. Oh yeah, just had a big drop back on one of my rods. I had to dip my rods down because we had a, a sailing boat come down. You wouldn't think they'd move in this. It's amazing what they can do with the wind. If you know what you're doing. 
and so I had to dip the rods down just in case. And I had this massive drop back, uh, a big slack line. I felt something, uh, and sometimes they can um, can't they can just hit you and just run backwards, and they can run right back to some snags deeper. So you have to be, you have to treat it as a carp. And anyway, I got to it and I felt a little knock and it was obviously a bream that was very lightly hooked using such big baits. So I've just uh, bought one of the rods in. So I've got to rebate that and really I need to rebate that before it gets dark. It's not a bad day. It's a rare night when uh, it's so quiet. The wind normally has been, the wind has been hacking into this bank now for the last few days. Size of that! <laughs> as big as the cut. What a beauty. I'm sure I recognise you, old gal. Darling, Mwah. once more. So there's always a compromise. <clears throat> it's a lovely starry night. I don't think you'll pick any of this up. Oh, it's lovely, it's cool, it's down to about 18, 20 degrees. And you just start feeling a bit hungry. And you, you know, the flies and the wasps have disappeared and the heat and the dust and the wind and everything like that. And it's cooled down and it's lovely and you get to do a thing. I've been doing all sorts, been very productive. Reheated my spaghetti bolognese, which I didn't finish off last night. But the trouble is, you do it in the dark, you have to have a light. And it is absolutely thick. I think these are just midges. God, they're a nightmare absolutely thick with them just for about another hour and then they finish hatching and then that's it the rest of the evening's all right look at that oh my god yeah i reckon i consumed a couple of thousand of those yeah, already in my spaghetti bolognese and i know there's a few in my the last of my red wine ah oh, there we go oh the joys morning it's uh, Monday the 1st of August it's about 10 30 in the morning um, went to bed about 1 30 uh, last night um, um, an amazingly still evening the wind did get up at about 11 o'clock in the evening which was great because the midges are relentless I think they're midges and little mini moths and all sorts of is actually little tiny mayflies sort of nymph things duns that sort of thing olives and that we call them at home um, in the trout fishing world yeah. Uh, yeah so very peaceful night good night sleep again woke up to a beautiful wind this morning at about uh, half past eight um, it looks absolutely banging you know compared to yesterday it was so still there was no wind the wind did pick up in the afternoon, late in the afternoon, and I think it's the wind that triggers these carp into moving a little bit. And then so we had a bit of a later bite at about six o'clock yesterday afternoon, that lovely 33 pound scaly, which incidentally went back to my old video from 2017. Same strain, definitely a different fish. The, the one I had before was 2812 and it was a, it pretty much a full linear but very very same straight sort of similar strain bit of a gut on it quite long bit pasty looking but you know yeah nice fish all the same so there we go so that was nice that it wasn't a repeat so there we go it's uh well it's probably 11 o'clock now literally bite times at any minute um i'm uh, gonna go shopping a little bit later on just get a little bit of fresh bread um, some some more fruit fruit juice and beer and uh, 
yeah, be prepared, I think, just to sit this out until at least Friday. I think till Friday. Uh, and then probably, I think by then, I'd have called it a day. That has been quite an intense month for fishing. So, Well, that's a bit disappointing. Uh, pretty much exactly the same time as yesterday. Same spot, but on the right hand rod this time in slightly deeper water. Another good run, um, but it instantly felt snagged. I could feel it running, but I could feel it grating. Um, there's obviously uh, um, a lot of uh, angler's line out there, and um, and uh, yeah, got caught under it. So uh, got above it. Um, I was hoping it'd be around a tree root, in which case you can only get above it and go around one way or another, and uh, the line will ping off but it was quite obviously gone through some braid or line and it, wow, well, I didn't pull particularly hard and it cut through the lead core leader. So, yeah, a bit disappointing, really. You know, you sit, sitting all night, all day, you bake away all day and you're waiting for that feeding time, which has been anything from uh, sort of uh, midday through till sort of around six o'clock. So we've still got one rod out there, you never know. Um, yeah, very frustrating really. Um, you're gutting that you sit for 24 hours and uh, that's your chance and it's sort of out of your control as well a little bit, you know. It's the only spot that really seems to be producing. And um, yeah, can't buy a bite anywhere else, uh, you know. Um, I've had two rods sat right tight to the snags on the far side. Um, yeah, I thought they would have gone at some point. They, they are in such great positions. It's seen a lot of bait now over the last eight nights. Um, you know, I've just dropped it right off, just fishing little, little tiny scatterings of bait around the up bait um, and varying my depth from fishing sort of down the bottom of the shelf, more than 30 foot of water, um, right up tight into sort of 19, 20 foot of water in, into the snags nearly. Uh, good evening, about a quarter to nine. Uh, Monday the 1st of October, August even. Ah, decent, I'm absolutely still fuming. I'd rather have not had a bite. But when you um, lose a a fish through no real fault of your own. Um, yeah, God, it winds you up, doesn't it? You know, it's amazing how you can go from <coughs> being on cloud nine one minute, top of the world. You know, you're getting regular carp, and then all you know, and and you know, literally this, exactly the same time tonight as it yeah, as it was yesterday literally to the minute 6 6 p.m. it was just getting to the point where it was yeah okay all right you know I can accept that not gonna get a bite tonight you know we've had uh, bites on you know uh, you know on, on it literally uh, three consecutive days pretty much I think you know can't keep on going forever you've got to expect to miss a night every now and again really struggling to uh, find other spots that are working um, yeah um, but when it goes and then you lose it through no fault your own god it reminds me it really does it's the first time that's really wound me up because that's two fish I've lost a line now first time you just put it down to a bit of bad luck I didn't think I was going to get a cart picking up that same bit of line so there's obviously a bit of line out there you know so um, I'm going to have to devise a way. I've got some ratchet straps. It's only about 20 foot out there. So I, I think if I put two ratchet straps together, it's going to give me about about 26 foot, something like that, maybe 30 foot. And, and I can just drag the bottom. It's got a hook on it and maybe see if I can't lift it up. So um, yeah, uh, we might have a go at that tomorrow. I think I'm going to wind in tomorrow because I'm going to, I'm, I'm running out of rum. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah, blimey, that ice has melted already. Anyway, that's enough. I'm going to get another lump of ice out of the old angle and um, enjoy my rum and coke and enjoy 
what's going to be another epic evening. And uh, fingers crossed, we can, uh, you know, let's see what happens by the morning. <laughs> well, if there's one thing I look forward to, nearly as much as a screaming Delcom and that's this time of day. Okay, same time every night, the seagulls come by. There they are. Making their way back to their roosting spot. Could be here actually. And uh, yeah, you can start to sort of get into sync with a place like this after a little while. It gets a bit of a rhythm of life as it were, you know, everything's got a cycle. Full moon's on the 12th, first today. There's uh, only one word for this and it's king hot. It really is. Oh my God, that has been a ball breaker of a day. Um, bear lit. So, gonna get dinner sorted, get it done nice and early tonight so I can sit back and chill and uh, enjoy what will be an absolutely amazing evening, if anything else. There's a lot worse things you could be doing on a, an August uh, summer's evening, that's for sure. Right, catch you later. Good morning, it's uh, Wednesday the 3rd of August and uh, this is the uh, scene I was greeted with this morning when I first woke up, mainly by the bloody flies landing on my face. <laughs> uh, it's now about 9 o'clock I think. And uh, yeah, big southeasterly, not southwesterly. thought it was westerly which would have been even better for me have hit my bank a lot more but it's easterly so it's more straight down the lake but yeah this is going to build up to close to 20 mile an hour today possibly be a little bit more brutal because we're up here which is good um, no doubt it will push the fish any fish following it will probably head straight down towards the dam um, but it's only there for two days and then it's turning back to northwest again back down here again so uh, yeah, it might pick up the odd passing fish. There were fish moving yesterday, only the odd fish, but you only ever see the odd fish move on here. So, uh, yeah, it's uh, it's looking good. A change, a change is as uh, good as a rest, as they say. So, um, yeah, watch this space. Just thought I'd uh, touch base in the morning for a change. Nothing, nothing to add again. Nothing through the night. Not really producing through the nights. Uh, you can see the the suddenly uh, arrived. It's now probably about 11, 11:30, 11 and uh, yeah, look at it. Lovely white horses rolling down the lake. I have no doubt in my mind that the majority of the fish have probably just gone bang straight down there to the dam. On massive Here we go. 125. Uh, Wednesday, the 3rd of April, and uh, yeah, finally. Got a beautiful common here again. Lovely, lovely fish. Um, great condition. And uh, yeah, uh, it's lovely. It's uh, 29 pound four ounces. Lovely. You can get some photographs at the same time. Ha ha ha! Over the moon. 
see much uh, wildlife, but we've got a little snake here. I don't know, I've got possibly poisonous. There he goes. Only about 18 inches long. There he goes. A little rarity for us, UK people. Thursday, the 4th of August, it's midday. Um, woke up to a bit of a very dull, cloudy morning. It being dull and cloudy all night long, it looked absolutely fantastic for a possible nighttime bite, but again, another good night's sleep um, and nothing to show. So, uh, even more surprising this midday and uh, no wind. It's literally, well, just literally started to blow up a little bit now. Um, literally a few moments ago it was like the rest of the lake down there like a mirror absolutely flat calm so uh, anyway I've moved one of the rods back down to the deep spot having seen a, a fair sizable carp stick his head out sort of literally sort of just to the to the right of my, to the left of my uh, middle middle uh, range spot in about 34 37 foot of water Getting a little bit uh, congested here now, uh, obviously it's the holidays, another team turned up yesterday and they're fishing over in the bay there and they're just out there to my left, which isn't, yeah they can sit, they can fish out there in that mid water, all my fish have been just coming down here in this uh, 20 foot, 23 foot of water just here in the margins, everybody seems to be obsessed by fishing the riverbed and the snags and uh, it's uh, definitely not the case it's a little bit early for riverbed fishing really i would say for consistent riverbed fishing in sort of 30 35 36 37 foot of water whatever it is um but hey you know this is the shallower end of the lake so you certainly wouldn't be fishing a riverbed down there because it'd still be uh uh certainly down towards the end of the night so you'd still have um 70 foot of water yeah, a bit frustrating. So yeah, so uh, I'm just going to enjoy the uh, the day today. Going to go and have a swim because I've got to say the water is absolutely beautiful. If there's anything else, so Thursday the 4th of October, August even, um, about, I suppose getting on for 4 o'clock in the afternoon and the wind's finally been back up again like it did yesterday, it took a bit of a while, the last sort of uh, three quarters of an hour, it's really built up and with it carrying the cloud, well just carrying a big band of cloud over, it looks really good. Well, <laughs> You wouldn't believe it, would you? The wind blew up no sooner than I put down um, put down the video camera and turned it off and laid it back on the bed chair. I just sat down. I was just about to roll myself a cigarette, and off goes the middle rod again. Absolute screaming run. You wouldn't believe it. Um, 4:30. Um, the wind really blew up a bit savage for a while. The waves are really crashing in there. Got the fish under control, no problem. Didn't get it stagged. Walked along the bank, got it up, see it roll on the surface a few times. It was a nice fish. It was. Uh, it wasn't going to break any records, but it would have been. It would have been nice to have landed it. It was a you know a mid upper twenty, possibly a thirty. Um, it would have been a nice fish to to show you guys uh, one for the video, and more importantly, it would have been a lovely way to finish the trip. Um, yeah one of those things just uh yeah just up pulled you know i'm using size two solar 101s it was a brand new rig um it was still razor sharp just didn't up one of those things shit happens so yeah lost two to snags and uh and hook pull here now um so yeah um not something that happens a lot normally with bigger fish normally those size two solar 101s uh, that when they're in they're in um you know there we go. I can't. No point going on about it. 
Um, so I've rushed the rods, got them back out there. Um, that's a um, repositioned one. I thought it was a bit close and just put a nice handful or two of baits around each one. Just got in there, dropped the baits, didn't mess about and uh, and got back. So, uh, you know, there's still a chance. There's still another couple of hours, I feel, while it's like this for another bite or so. Who knows? Might even get one later than sort of six o'clock. So fingers crossed let's say let's let's hope we can get one yet so yeah ah! <laughs> morning friday the 5th of august <clears throat> been here a month well not here but in france and uh, what a journey it's been so far it's been uh, something else one i remember for probably the rest of my life it's been good fun lots of uh, um yeah just uh, lots of good memories and a few not not quite so good memories <laughs> but they're all memories nonetheless so uh, here we go packing up now so uh, last night uh, once it got way beyond bite time about 8.30 in the evening I've never had a bite at 8.30 in the evening I don't think anywhere in France ever so I uh, just loaded up the big boat yesterday and and put all the solar and the batteries and the, and the bait that's prepped ready for the for the next week of my or the last week or so of my adventure got that back to the van last night so it makes a, a relatively easy and simple pack and load um, today so say goodbye to my one of my favorite lakes in france yet again every year i think um, probably i'll probably never see this lake again in the flesh as it were and here i am always seem to make it back a um, couple of hour two three hour drive now to the next so uh, yeah i'm looking forward to that it'd be nice to hopefully get a few runs again I must admit I do miss the old sound of the uh, the alarms never quite know what you're gonna get right on that note I'm gonna have a bit of brekkie and then I'm off see you later here we go Friday the 5th of August it's uh, about four o'clock and uh, this is my next venue Well, here we go. Next adventure. <laughs>